Good morning, everybody. Dennis Engelbrecht, Digging Deeper. Uh, today, I want to talk about the essence of competition. Um, from past blogs and, and things we've written, most of you are probably aware I've been on this sort of obsessive quest to win a gold ball, which uh, essentially means winning one of the four national tournaments in my age group for tennis. And, uh, you know, I've learned a lot about goal achievement along the way and tried to share some of those things, you know, among which was having a worthy goal, uh, making sure that goal is communicated to all that, you know, are going to be affected by it or whose help you'll need by it, having a solid plan uh, to achieve that goal, um, remembering that, you know, goal achievement is is a crooked road. It's, it, it is not a linear path for sure, so you got to persevere and oftentimes replan or, you know, toss out the old plan and start with a new plan. Uh, and, you know, what I've found now uh, is, is some different things because now I'm sort of, uh, I've made it to where I'm competitive to achieve my goal. I'm at or near the top and up against the best players each time I play now. Uh, and of course, there's only one winner. Uh, which brings us back to the essence of competition, which I wanted to talk about. Uh, so each of you, of course, you know, in your business is, is competing on a regular basis. And, um, you know, how, how do you, what is the essence of competition and how, how do you win once you get there and, and you're competing against, uh, you know, very good quality competitors? Um, and, you know, what I found, at least on the tennis side, is, you know, your strategy in each match or against each player is always a little bit different. Uh, you know, how are they going to come at me? How am I going to come at them? How are their shots going to be effective against me and vice versa? Who's going to be able to land the better shots? You know, we each have strengths and weaknesses that, you know, we're trying to display, of course, our strengths and and maybe overshadow our weaknesses a little bit, but of course our opponents are out there trying to outdo us uh, each time we do. And, and when we arrive, you know, at time for whether it's a presentation or a bid or wherever, you know, where, you, where your competition gets, you know, gets to its essence, uh, who's going to be able to bring their A game that day? And, you know, and, and what I'm finding in tennis, you know, you're there and and somebody brings their A game and the other person doesn't quite bring their A game. Uh, and, and what's the difference there? And how, how can you be a winner more often? How can you, once you're, you're at this top or at the pinnacle, how, how can you then be successful? And, and of course, I think, you know, as I think back upon it, um, if you're well-practiced and well-prepared, uh, of course, that's, that's an essential element. Uh, of course, you have to make sure that you don't overdo it too. Uh, in tennis, you know, you, you got to practice enough, but if you practice too much, you'll be tired, you'll have tired legs, you won't be at your best when you get there as well. And certainly, you know, if, if you're practicing a presentation, you don't want to become rote. Uh, you know, you want it to seem fresh and enthusiastic and all of that, and the same thing can happen. You can actually be over-practiced, but, but you do need to be practiced and prepared. Um, you know, funny thing in tennis at this level is, you know, okay, these are all week competitions. You're playing multiple matches and multiple days. You got to know what to eat, how to eat, when to eat, when to hydrate, when to rehydrate, uh, all of these things. You have to be able to stand up mentally against uh, the challenges that arise. Uh, you know, just last tournament, uh, okay, we got rained out for our eight o'clock final and we end up playing our final in the heat of the day with a different sun at 11 30 a.m and these these are different things plus you sit around them for three hours and you still got to come up and then feel physically good and all of that and you know the same thing happens to you when you're in competition right you you arrive at a presentation and something doesn't work or the room's not set up the way you thought it was going to be set up or all of a sudden they lob a difficult question that you weren't expecting over, you know, over the bow or something like that and, and you got to handle it on game day, right? So you got to be able to stand up against tough, tough conditions, unexpected stuff. Uh, last tournament, I, 
I got what I perceived was a bad call from my competitor uh, late in the match, which you know would have been very important. Uh, so how do you handle that mentally? You know, when you when you get in a difficult situation, are you able to maintain and still again compete and hopefully persevere? So you know, each of these things I'm doing in tennis, you know, is it could kind of be a metaphor for the, the way you compete in business, but it really does boil down to the essence of competition and. You know, that never leaves us in business uh, like it's never leaving me in, in tennis. And, you know, the essence of competition is you've got to bring it every day and you've got to bring your best every day. You've got to work on both your strengths and your weaknesses. And, and you've got to try to differentiate yourself from your competition. You've got to try to be a little bit better in some areas or a lot better in some areas. And, and you have to make sure that your weaknesses don't stand out, that they can find them and uh, and, you know, and put you in a box with you, with your weaknesses. So uh, it really is the essence of competition, and it is about bringing it every day, being prepared, and, and continuing to work. And then if you do so, hopefully you find the success you're looking for. Again, Dennis Engelbrecht, Digging Deeper.